In cervix cancer, um, obviously these, uh, we have trials that are ongoing that are some are sponsored by the NCI and some are sponsored by um, industry. Uh, we're looking at uh, chemotherapy in combination with immune checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, so those trials um, are, um, uh, that trial has, uh, is, is um, uh, uh, close to launching. And we have um, a similar type of strategy, which is looking at this in combination with bevacizumab. So as, as I mentioned, that, pack, tac, uh, that chemotherapy plus bevacizumab is already approved. And so adding an immune checkpoint, a PD-L1 inhibitor in this case, uh, tezolizumab is another trial which is um, ongoing to hopefully move that needle as well. So lots and lots of phase three work, which is super exciting. Our patients are an incredible, precious resource. They need, to be, uh, they need to be thanked for their participation on these trials. They're the only way we move the needle. Um, I think that investigators in this space um, have passion to want to move the needle, um, but knowing that we, can't, we don't have unlimited resources, we need to get smart about how we do the trials, and we need to try to accrue them. So um, that's... Um, we're having more and more opportunities and we're getting better at writing our trials, but we want to uh, uh, have a broader participation and to develop the future investigators and to keep the clinical questions coming.